What's up everybody? It's Merman Mike. I'm out here with my beautiful girlfriend Natasha. And we're out here at Comanche Reservoir for the first time. Um, usually the lake level is a lot higher. You can see it goes all the way up to those rocks and even farther. But um, right now California is in a major drought so it's pretty low. But uh, I'm just excited to be back out here. If you guys don't know, I've been recovering from a surgery, or actually two surgeries, that's kept me out of the water longer than I wanted to. And uh, I've just been having major withdrawals. I've had a bunch of people ask me if I can go search for their stuff. And unfortunately, I've had to basically send them to other divers to and hope that they can help them instead. But uh, I'm back, or at least back on a very small amount because I can't go into like a Sacramento River or anything with a heavy current. I'm still on light usage of my shoulder. Older, so I have to be smart, but I could definitely go search for today's valuable. Speaking of, I'm gonna let Shauna tell you that in just a second. But if you've never been to my channel, what I usually do is I go out to the local lakes and rivers, sometimes not so local, and I search for anybody's valuables to return back to them. And I also try to clean up all the trash on the bottom of the lakes and rivers while I'm out there, because I thoroughly believe you can't just go for the treasures, you have to get the trash too. But without further ado, I'm gonna pass it over to Shauna and she's gonna tell you guys why we're out here today. So hi, I'm Shauna and I unfortunately lost my incredibly valuable iPhone in the middle of Lake Comanche. We were here with um, our 11 year old nieces, and, or our nephews, our twin nephews and our niece, eight, who's eight years old, and my daughter who's 14. We were doing that thing your mom always tells you don't do. We were roughhousing on my paddle <laughs> board and then I dove in and my phone, I'll have you know, is in a waterproof floating bag. They always are. Which <laughs> <laughs> so on the very very off chance that perhaps it could be saved I happen to see Merman Mike's YouTube channel and I'm hoping today that he finds it I don't have high expectations but the fact that he's out here today doing this for me just makes me feel like there is good in the world and there is positive in the world so I'm super grateful oh thank you and like I always tell everybody I can't guarantee you I'm gonna find it but I'm always gonna try my hardest um, in full disclosure I was out on a search this morning trying to find someone's ring that their grandmother left to them and they unfortunately lost in the lake and I was super bummed out because when I got there it was not only extremely silted out and I had no visibility but then the entire bottom of the lake was absolutely covered in nails and this weird like metal mesh fence material so I couldn't even use my metal detector to battle the blindness that I was in so that was kind of a bummer but I'm really hoping to finish today off on a high note and find Shauna's phone because yeah, that's what I love to do. So if I can find anything else today, it's a bonus, but the main goal is the iPhone, so. Yeah, everybody always says you can repair or replace a phone, but there's always pictures, contacts, all sorts of valuable things on a phone that you never think of backing up in time, or you say, I can just get to that later. And of course, bad things about accidents is you never know when they're gonna happen and they always happen at the worst times. So I'm gonna go hopefully find that. Hopefully it's still on, cause like she said, it's in a waterproof bag and yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully we have a good dive. I am really hopeful that he can find it because unfortunately my aunt passed away and I hadn't backed up. It just, a lot has happened in two months and so I hadn't backed up those photos and I am using her phone now and that's precious, but I hope that she's with us today and I can find the photos of her memorial and that would be just a true blessing. I just got chills, so I think that's yeah. a good sign. And those are the kind of like sentimental things that you can't replace with money and those are always the things I'm trying to get back to their owners because I, I just, I've lost my grandma and it would mean the world to me if someone could return something that I lost of hers. So I always try to do that for other people. All right guys, stay tuned. All right. I'm gonna have you hold this really quick and I'll come back for it in a second. I think we'll be able to see it. When did you say you lost it again? Thursday, yeah. I don't think it'll be all the way under by then. Alright. Yeah. Oh, 
pair of Ray-Bans. Oh, nice. And the pirate pair of sunglasses. Pirate pair of sunglasses. Oh my god, well you're in the right area. Ew. This. Those are my sunglasses. Are you serious? Yeah, the black ones. Ah! With, with one lens. These are yours? Those are my sunglasses. Oh my goodness, would you like them back? Sure. <laughs> We're returning the valuables already. Right? So wait, like, that was where you lost the phone? Uh, it's in the general area, yeah. That came off of the paddleboard too, or was that another time? It was another time. Okay, I'm just making sure. Interest you in a full Red Bull? No, thank you. What about a phone? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and you found Hannah's goggles! <laughs> are these your are the goggles? Oh, it's awesome. I'll go back and find the hat too. I'm not done. Oh, and a phone. A fishing lure. Really cool one. Oh, I was so happy when I found that. I was gonna say, if you, if you just make sure it's real dry before you start uh, messing with it too much and whatnot. But the iPhones are so resilient to water, it'll probably turn right back on. Oh, I would. Uh, well, yeah, definitely take it out out of the bag. That way, you make sure you can get it as dry as possible for as long as possible. I was going to say, it at least keeps it dry. It does half the job. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. <laughs> I don't think you understand. You've made my like past four months of not being able to find any valuables. I. <sighs> there was. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, that's my favorite part. Right. Oh, I am so happy I got to end today on a good note, not two strikeouts. Oh. 
I'll, I'll give you a huge hug afterwards. I'll be right back. Oh, that is awesome. Pretty sure I found the missing lens of the sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, just got done with our dive out here at Comanche Reservoir, and I had an incredible dive. I am so, so happy to finally be able to return a valuable back to someone, and not just one, check it out. <laughs> We've got Hannah's goggles, uh, Donnie's sunglasses, my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I am so happy. Shauna looks pretty happy, too. <laughs> I could not be more grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. You are so welcome. It is honestly my pleasure. Oh, I cannot explain to you how good it feels to be out here and helping people again and just finding treasures and picking up trash. Speaking of, let me show you. All right, for the treasures, we got a uh, full rock star that I tricked Shauna with at first when I came up with the phone. We've got a pair of Ray-Bans. This was actually the first thing that I found when I dove in, and that's awesome. We got a vape, we got a lighter. We got this really cool, I think it's called an umbrella um, lure. And I think they're pretty expensive, like range between like 20 and 60 bucks for these kind of things. We got what I think is like a lanyard for a key chain or, or a hair tie. <laughs> And then the trash today, guys, it was a really eye opener. Every time I do these videos, I try to try to instill. You can't just go for the treasure. You have to get the trash too, because check it out. Look at all this glass. It was all right here on the shelf and you could have easily, if you were my height, you could reach right here and definitely it would have caused a quick trip to the hospital. So I'm really glad I got out of there, all of that out of there. I got all the cans as well that I could find and, uh, yeah, I just had an incredible day again. Thank you for my beautiful girlfriend for coming with me. Thank you for Shauna for getting a hold of me. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are enjoying these videos, please remember to like, share, subscribe. Really helps me get out here, return more valuables to their owners and get that much more trash out of the lakes and rivers. And uh, yeah, hopefully I should be back in action and you guys should be getting regular videos again. So I apologize for the wait up until here, but I'm back. So, thank you for watching and for me and my beautiful. <laughs> All right, guys, for me and me. I got this. Breathe out. Me, 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 me. All right, guys, for me. Oh, come on. Now it's not going to come out. All right, guys, for me and my beautiful girlfriend, Natasha. Bye. Take care, everybody. That's where the trash is supposed to go. Sand in my eyes. <laughs> Careful, there's a piece of glass in there. Okay, it's out. All right, everybody. Till next time. Take care. Oh my god! Good. Oh, that's awesome. Maybe here. Maybe here. Check it out, everybody. Ah, uh, wait. On. Bam! Works perfectly. <laughs> So the drive bag kept it good. It just didn't float like it was supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, incredible. That's awesome. Oh, thank you. Not a problem. I'm so glad I could help. <laughs> oh my God. You guys have an amazing day. <laughs>